Hey, how you doing everybody? This is John and we are going to be doing the battery and setup for the Capella Sleep and Charge dual alarm clock with dual USB charging. It's going to be for model number CR-22. All right, so let's get, go ahead and let's do it out the chit chat and let's start setting this up. Okay, first of all, it's going to be a plug-in model. So go ahead and select a place where you want to set it up. Preferably it's going to be on your desktop and go ahead and plug it in. You'll see that there's going to be the back right there is where you plug it in. All right. Also, just to mention that while you do have it plugged in and all set up, you have the two ports that are right over there for your USB charging for your cell phone. If you got two phones, good for you. You can plug both of them in there right there. All right. So this bat, this uh, clock takes two. Um, batteries. It's going to be two AAA batteries as you can see from the very bottom right there. I've already inserted them already just to make things easier and go by quicker. So first of all, the time is not 12.01. The time is currently 8 o'clock. So let's go ahead and set the alarm, select the clock for 8 o'clock p.m. So we are going to take a look at the buttons on the top and you are going to see all the buttons from left to right. You're going to see the audio on off. That's for the radio, the tune up and down. That is the buttons that you're going to use to um, move your time forward. Your volume buttons are for your radio clock set. And then over again from left to right from your front buttons is going to be for your radio bus set and off. That's going to be for your alarm one sleep button is when you are going to be taking a nap and you are going to pause the alarm. And then again, from the very far right is going to be for your dual for your second alarm. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and set the clock for 8 p.m. We are going to press the button right over here. The clock will go, we'll go over here. And we have eight. Now we are setting the minutes. And it is 8 p.m. You can see that the dot right over there indicates p.m. If there's no dot, then that means it's a.m. Okay, there we go. It is now 8 o'clock p.m. It's pretty easy, right? Anybody can do this, all right? So now just say, for example, that you want to set your dual alarm. Now, you can only set the alarm just for one day. You can't set them for individual days. The clocks do not recognize Monday through Friday, just only recognize the time for one day. So let's go ahead and set the alarm. So you are going to move the switch to where it says set, you see the alarm flashing, then you go to, we are gonna set it for say 802. There we go. Let's make it 803. All right, so now, Everything's set. Now the alarm is on. Now you are going to move the selector switch to buzz. Okay. Now at 8.03, the alarm will go off. It's going to take a couple minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to explain to you other features of here. You have the snooze button. Okay. Which means that if you are sleeping, the alarm goes off. You press the snooze button and you pretty much basically just pause the alarm. You have the dimmer button that's right over here and it just lowers the light volume. Okay, press it again and you increase it. All right, so that's pretty much basically it with that. You have the uh, clock radio, okay? Now, if you do wanna get um, a better reception, you have the wire that's in the back over here. My recommendation um, is to uh, string the light up on the wall, okay, and which will uh, get better reception 
for the alarm panel. So that was a pretty easy and quick setup. Okay, and just give it a one more minute. Uh, just bear with me so you can uh, see that the alarm was set. Now, what I did for the first alarm, which was right over there, which I set it to 803. Now, um, if you're a heavy sleeper and you decide that you want to go back to sleep, okay, you can pretty much basically set your dual alarm to wake up maybe five minutes later, which has, that's the purpose of having a dual alarm. And then that way you wake up um, at your desired time. Oh, I want to give myself some extra time. I don't want to snooze. But then you want to say, hey, I just want to give up my, my final uh, wake up time. Okay. Hey, hey, there we go. That's the alarm I set for 803. Okay, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? So now to shut the alarm off. Okay, now just to make sure, okay. So what you do is this. You press it all the way to the back where it says off. Now, you know, if you want to set the alarm back again, you just hit snooze um, or pause. I could have done that to show you what the snooze was like. But that's pretty much basically it. That was going to be the battery and setup for the Capello um, Sleep and Charge Dual Alarm Clock, Dual USB Charge, AM FM Clock Radio. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Uh, I had fun uh, teaching you all about it. All right, be sure to check out my playlist for this model and uh, you will see the manual in case you have any problems. Um, you'll get to hear the alarm for both single and dual and my quick review. You guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.